I was talking about the differences between people in America or other country and then Ghana. Okay. There are a lot and a lot of things that when you come to Ghana and you see, you'll be amazed. You said, ah, we don't do this. Why that? Uh, here in Ghana, I'm not saying that there is no gays and lesbianism at those things in Ghana. No. But sometimes you see two brothers holding hands walking. They are not lesbian. <laughs> they are not. We have, uh, they, are called, they call themselves uh, L, B, G, T, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, a whole bunch of letters. In recent times, uh, they gathered themselves, rent a house at a place. Uh, I don't know what they want to use that house for. And uh, people got to know. We thank God for the intervention of the security agencies. Else they would have beaten them to death. Christianity frowns on it. Islamic religion frowns on it. And then African traditional religion frowns on it. So, no way in Ghana. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah. Um, there are some, there are some uh, ambassadors who were also found at their meeting. And uh, Ghanaians are crying that those ambassadors should leave the country and go away. We don't want them here. Yeah, it's happened. Uh, but because of the quick intervention of the security agencies, um, they were not lynched. They ran away, and uh, the, uh, where they rent the house has been shut down. And uh, I think two people were arrested or so, and then they were taken to court because the country laws doesn't allow those things. Yeah. So when you see uh, two people, two guys walking holding hands, they are not. Those who are in need really will never hold their hands in public. They know that they'll find them out and beat them. <laughs> <laughs> and all they can, they, they, there was a time they, uh, some people were found, they lynched them terribly. One of them lost his life. Yeah. But what about the, the gay parade they had in Uganda? They stopped that? The what? The gay parade here in Ghana every year. Yeah, they stopped it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But, uh, uh, there was this South African lady who came and yeah. uh, was on the air that he wanted uh, 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 the, the country to change its laws so that they allowed them to operate. She herself was kept protected at a place else she would have been lynched on that yeah. day that she came on television. Yeah. People were asking for her life. That broke my heart when I saw uh, African men dressed in wigs and lipstick and women's clothes and high heels parading down the street in Ghana. I can't believe it. It wasn't in Ghana. <laughs> it was it was in South Africa. Oh. It was in she, South Africa. She's talking about things that happened here. That's yes. What about. Yes. Now, now, what happened is that uh, those people who I saw that thing. I saw that, and it was this lady from South Africa who was trying to promote that thing. Oh. Yeah, who was trying to promote that thing. Okay. And she was on television talking about it. And quickly, there are some lawyers and other people who just tell her she should stop. Else, uh, people will just, just kill her. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, because people are so much aggressive when you talk about those things. Do not. It's it, 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 a detestable thing. So don't do it. But we are in human society. I cannot stick my neck and tell you 100% that those things doesn't exist in Ghana. No. No way. There are some few recalcitrant people who are operating in that area. But when they are found, their life is in danger. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, now we are started climbing the blue hills.